What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. After Sound here, bringing you Splinterlands content every single day. We also stream right here on this channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday morning. So come by and say hello. All right, guys. I want to talk about DEC because obviously we have seen it struggle to maintain peg over the past couple of weeks. And my big question that I'm asking myself, and I guess to you guys, is is that sell pressure finally over? Now, there are two main things that I think were that played a part in this. Obviously, you know, the market, I don't want to say necessarily cooled off. You know, Bitcoin was above 70K for a bit and then came down. Um, but it's not like it's not like we're in bear market territory. I, I wouldn't have expected, you know, a massive sell off on DEC. But the two things that have happened, right? One is the Gladiator cards uh, that people were burning for DEC and then, you know, potentially selling that DEC on the marketplace. And then the other part were the LP changes that were made, specifically the removal of rewards for both of the LPs containing DEC that are not on the Hive chain, right? One on ETH and one on BNB. So those happened. Right over the past uh, over the past couple of weeks, and of course this past week, this past Tuesday, we had the changeover in the reward rework, meaning that people are no longer able to burn Gladiator cards for DEC. So you can just see here, and we'll do we'll do just a little bit of digging, right? So over the past thirty days, we've minted a hundred million uh, DEC. Over the past two months, right, it's actually a hundred uh, two two seventy one. So. Over this time period, you can you can actually even see it here. It wasn't the team that was primarily minting all of that DEC. I mean, if you go back a month ago, right, or roughly 30 days ago, let's see here. We are at uh, well, maybe like 55 million, uh, 55 million SPS burned, right, uh, compared to where we're at right now, 58 million. And when you consider the fact that this was down at like 3 million or something like that back in November before we started burning, before the, the team really uh, got in and started burning stuff for the flywheel, you know, doing 3 million SPS, burning 3 million SPS in a month is tiny compared to bur the, the, we'll just call it like the 50 million we've burned since, you know, December, uh, January, February, right? So like three, four months uh, from from when things really started to take off. We were, bur <laughs> we were burning significantly more during that time, almost like, you know, 17, 18 million per month. And then, of course, last month, things slowed down. So I would say that a majority of the DEC that actually came in from all of those Gladiator cards. So we got massive amounts of inflation there. You can even see it on the graph here, but it wasn't coming from the team, meaning that it wasn't, it, it, let, let me put it this way. Sure. Could it have been sold on the marketplace? Do I know that for sure? No, I don't. But at least when the team burns SPS for DEC and inflates uh, the supply that way, they're not dumping it on the marketplace. They are using it for back-end transactions for credits. So there's no sell pressure on there. Uh, but there is a possibility and a high possibility for a lot of people who just, you know, had a bunch of uh, Gladiator cards. or Maybe there were bot farms or bot accounts that had a bunch of Gladiator cards that just decided to liquidate, take whatever value they could and, and go home, right? So at this point, now that that is done, that faucet is completely closed. We're starting to see more burns happening, right? Uh, over the past 70, or, oops, I'm sorry, over the past 24 hours, we've seen uh, 7 point, or sorry, 0.76 million. So not quite a million, but I would say that our rough rate is roughly around around 1 to 1.5 million. Again, the player base has shrunk a little bit. The sentiment is down, so maybe we're not going to reach that that run rate. But either way, once we get to a point where maybe it's upcoming with the Bec uh, the Bitcoin having promo event, maybe there's some other things that the team is working on with uh with a new player experience, maybe there's other things in terms of just burning, you know, DEC for energy potentially, although I think vouchers are going to take the cake on that first, when the team is able to add more stuff to the reward shop, like those are all things that could happen potentially in game outside of the game. Obviously, we're waiting for the soul keep news that could potentially use up some DEC and provide some value and utility. So, you know, I'm looking at this and thinking to myself, again, I, I'm not, this is not financial advice. I'm not saying to, to make this trade, but you know, it's, we're down 10% below peg. And my expectation, again, not prediction, not, uh, you know, I'm not trying to give a time frame on this, but my expectation is with all the stuff that the team is delivering, or even just the crypto market maybe taking off over the summer, we will slowly make our way, maybe quickly make our way back up to peg uh, once we get through all of this excess, right? Because I, I would say that probably for a lot of folks, I mean, I know that I burned a bunch of uh, cards. I'm sorry, I burned a bunch of Gladiator cards for DEC. Now, I turned around and actually bought a lot of cards on the marketplace, but if you think about it, even though that's not technically having a downward sell pressure on DEC directly, what am I doing? I am selling DEC for a different asset, for a card, right? So what that person decides to do with that DEC from there after they receive it, right, for selling me the card, 
I, I don't know. I mean, they could sell it, but all I'm saying is that that's 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 how how I see the the market dynamics for this. But obviously, we're going to you know we're, we're going to see what happens over the next couple of months here uh, with the team hopefully delivering you know the one click set rentals, the the ending of the new player experience, and hopefully I, I even forgot to mention this earlier. Hopefully, some of the land items, right? So getting the DEC grain LP could potentially find a home for much of the DEC that's uh, still out there, and maybe even. Uh, get us to start burning SPS. Um, that or, you know, people coming in to check out the game for Rebellion and all that stuff. So I just wanted to call this out saying that I think we are over, hopefully over the hump of this kind of bearish slump that we've been in over the past couple of weeks. Now, I, I can't say much for SPS right now. I'm mainly talking about DEC just because we knew what the downward, you know, impact and factors were for it. With SPS, obviously, it's indirectly tied to DEC. If DEC gets back up to PEG, I would look to SPS and say, well, okay, now that we're back at PEG, anytime people need DEC and it goes above PEG, we're going to be burning SPS. Now, maybe the team burns that. Maybe you know folks go out and buy SPS and burn it, but we're not quite there yet. So the first indicator that I'm looking at is DEC, and so far... You know, we have jumped back up from like, I think the 8, uh, 840, 830 Splintoshis that I think we've gone down to. Maybe even even lower than that, but I think that's the lowest that I remember seeing. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Let me know how you're feeling too. I think a lot of folks are, are just all over the place when it comes to sentiment around Splinterlands. But uh, that is all I have for you guys in this video. I'll catch you all in the next one and see you around the game. Take care.